guys, I'm just Josh and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Red and Blue 721 Soul Link with our good buddy Totter. What's the good word, friends? It's Totter here. Um, I don't think I'm over grieving yet, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, we, we, if you guys didn't watch the last episode, go check it out oh. over on Totter's channel, link in the description God. below. Maybe bring a little box of Kleenex tissue, whatever brand you prefer You're gonna to that episode it. because, um... We incurred our first losses of the soul. We know what's gonna happen. I just wasn't yep. exactly ready for it. And I am also still hurting from it as well. <laughs> Comrade wanna... Lieutenant Surge was just brutal. Let me just Except say that. From Russia with love, let me <laughs> tell you. Do you uh, do you want to take a quick little look at the team? Maybe do a quick team recap as we uh, yes. go over the remaining pairs. We lost two Josh, pairs, so it Josh, was not a, a small loss. There's a lot of white on this screen, and I don't like it. I know it felt so good when, and the layout now is no longer gonna be full. It all hurts. Oh. It just all it all hurts. It does. It does. Um, I guess I'll start things off. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start with uh, our starters who have survived through the entire thing thus far. The pair that started it all. I have Case of the Dwebble. The bug rock type. I think he's getting really close to evolving, and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> with tackle rock blast, withdrawal, and sand attack. Hashtag get cubified, and <laughs> Queso is paired up with the almighty Sparkster the Raichu with that 70 attack, 83 speed. Is just running circles around opponents right now with tail whip, seismic toss, thunderbolt, and quick attack. Next, we have Saria, the Meganium, the grass type with Magical Leaf, Reflect, Razor Leaf, and Poison Powder. Nice, Saria the Meganium is paired up with the Master Ball Pokemon himself, Krista the Absol, with 84 attack. I think it was well worth it because it's a normal type in this uh, ROM hack, so that means uh, a lot of stab on the screen, as you can see. We have Bite, Razor Wind, Double Team, and Quick Attack. Speaking of Pokemon that lost their, oh, not, don't use cut stats. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon that lost their original typing and are now normal type, next is Longclaw, the Dublade, originally a Steel Ghost type, but in this ROM hack, messed up. Normal Ghost type with Swords Dance, Aerial Ace, Shadow Sneak, and Cut. I just clicked on Cut too without even looking. <laughs> right? It, like, they put it at the top. Good, good start. Um, so uh, Longclaw, <laughs> the Dublade, is paired up with Viper, the Dragalge. Uh, still got some stats to build up a little bit. Slow boy, but got 50 special, so it's still useful. Got Cut, Tail Whip, Bubble, and Acid. And our final pair, no, not Dig, our final pair, <laughs> our most recent pair uh, that we, uh, it was our sixth pair that we filled out the squad with. Uh, yep. Starting with Bottles, the Excadrill, the Ground Steel type, or in this case, Ground Normal type, with Scratch, Fury Swipes, Metal Claw, and Dig. And paired up with uh, Bottles. I already forgot what your Pokemon's bottles. name bottles was. Bottles Excadrill. Good Bo old boy Bottles. Good old Bottles is paired up with Sid the Sharpedo. Sit down and drink your gosh darn tea. Uh, Sid Final Fantasy 7 plug, sorry. Uh, 47 attack, 39 speed. It's got a little little building up it needs to do. And uh, if a Pokemon sneezes on it, it'll probably die. But <laughs> it has Bite, Rage, Blizzard, and Night Slash. It is ready to take some Pokemon out. And, uh, and that's all she wrote. That's the four pairs we have left. As you guys saw, we lost two pairs in the, the last episode. Now, I will say, in between episodes, we did sit down, we looked in our PCs, and we tried to find if we had any more viable pairs that could now join the team. And we did have one. Mm. Uh, we have the combination of, on my side, Spritzy, the fairy type, and mm -hmm. on your side, Metatite, the fighting psychic type. Yes, sir. And we were going to add them to the team, but then we realized we have like three encounters coming up in today's episode, so maybe we should uh, see what those are first, see if those are going to be, you know, because the, the, the Spritzy, they were only like, what, level 10, maybe? So we would have had to, had to grind them up to level, you know, 20-ish, 20, yeah. 20, 25 to make them viable to add to the team, and uh, it feels like a better idea to just go get some new encounters, see if we can get any new pairs from that means. If not, we will go ahead and, you know, default to Spritzy and Metatype. But in the meantime, uh, we got some encounters to go get if you're ready. Absolutely. And actually, uh, Josh, while you were uh, guiding our viewers through uh, what's going on, I walked a little bit too far. And uh, we hadn't gotten to the point where we can explain how we're breaking the game a little bit. Oh, yes. Okay, so this actually happened after the last episode. You, While I was editing it, you said something that, that kind of, I, as I was going through it and listening, there was a specific line you said that kind of triggered something in my brain, and it was actually a combination of this 
and a, a combination of a comet left by Not So Livid. And you had mentioned as you were looking for healing items in your bag, you had mm -hmm. mentioned that you had a fresh water. Mm -hmm. And as I was looking, I had a fresh water as well. And I remembered that in this game, Pokemon Red and Blue, you don't actually need, I think in the future ones, like Fire Red and Leaf Green, you had to get a specific item to give to the guards I that think... are blocking Saffron. It was like some hot tea or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in this game, you just have to bring them either a fresh water, a soda pop, or a lemonade that you typically would find in Celadon City. But because items are randomized, in this game, we can actually theoretically go into Saffron City a little bit early by giving yeah. this guy some delicious water to drink. It's, like, it's hey, a I little game-breaking. It's like, hey, I just found this in Diglett's cave. It's got a bunch of dust and nasty yeah, on it. It might be expired, expired lemonade, but hey, if you want it, you can have it. I mean, it's all yours. That's all you need. And the good thing about this, so clearly we could like break the game. We could go fight Sabrina right now if we wanted to lose the entire lot. <laughs> we don't. Uh, but We're what not... we can do is the Pokemart in this town has Great Balls. I think. We, well, I'm going to go double check. Either Great Balls or Ultra Balls. I cannot remember. But mm. I believe the Pokemart in this town has Great Balls, which should make our future encounters even easier to get. Oh, absolutely. And I just I just checked to see if he would actually take the water. I didn't know if it was like a like an event trigger in the game that would actually have him say, you know, like if it was going to say the same thing over again without How did recognizing you get this? the water. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, what? Are you from the future? <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> but yeah, I am rummaging around in Saffron right now. I'm going to go I'm going to go head up to the mart right now. I am at and... the mart right now currently, and I got some good news for you. Oh, are they Ultra Balls? No, they're great oh. balls. But oh, that's that's they fine. Have them. They have them nonetheless, that's, and that's a good thing. That's good. I'm still trying to find the mark. Where in the H E double hockey sticks is it at? Right Top now? right, basically. Pretty oh. like right south of the gym. We can also get a TM in this town too. I just remember. Oh, the psychic man. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Too, go too bad it's not psychic, but yeah, it, the psychic would be wonderful. I don't know if anybody on my team could even learn it, but yeah. actually, I oh, so joke. We we still don't <laughs> know. Murder. No. Erase it from your memory, Josh. I'm, I'm trying. Charlotte. I'm trying not to cry this episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got ten great balls. I think that'll be enough for right uh, now. I need to put. Oh. I need to. I need to visit the Pokemon <laughs> Center real quick and put so, a couple things in my PC. Like we don't need the SSAN ticket anymore. We probably don't need Cut at least for the foreseeable future. I um, sold all my I sold all of my repels, so I don't think I'm gonna need them. So basically, I just wasted go, money yeah. buying them. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. You live and learn, my, right? My TM for Psychic is Swift, so nothing super oh, exciting there, really? unfortunately. But I'm going to go stop by the Pokemon Center and drop some of these lovely HMs that I no longer need off. You know, I wouldn't mind having... Oh, I should go. I should do the same thing. I wouldn't mind having Swift for uh, Krista, because mm, Krista is so unbelievably powerful with normal Give it a staff. move that can never miss and <laughs> Dude, watch, if him, I, watch it fly. You know, you know the... the um, you know how Hyper Beam works in Gen 1? Yes, however, if you knock a Pokemon out on that turn, you don't <laughs> lose your turn. Absol is going to crush everybody oh if I find a... Oh my god! It's gonna Let's be amazing. Let's make it happen. Yes. Let's make it happen. I, I'm gonna find out once I get this TM, see what happens. But I, I gotta get some items out of my bag right now. I got way... Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning a little bit of room. You gotta yeah, love go. in this generation, yes, you can hold about three things. Yeah, this old rod, we're never, we're never gonna use that again. Let's just get rid of that. I got rid of that too. I'm probably gonna put my Leaf Stone and Water Stone in here too. And you know, like if I happen to find a Pokemon that can use these stones, you know, I'll mm -hmm. pull it out or hopefully remember that I have it. There you go. I almost wonder if, like, the bike is nice because, you know, we can we can move quickly, but is it even worth it taking up a inventory slot? Or do I put the I, bike voucher in? I left in the... it I left it on there for now just because I know that once we need the bike to go through the bike path. Oh, you're I'm, right, you're right, you're right. We I'm leave. going to forget to go get it. So I just That's decided. a good point. And we're going to Cerulean right now anyway, so we may as well just go make that transfer while we're there. Mm-hmm. Right, now, we can, unfortunately cannot get a Saffron City encounter, which is a shame, but we mm -hmm. have looked ahead, and I believe in today's episode, we're going to be getting a Route 9 encounter, a Route 10 encounter, and a Rock Tunnel encounter to finish things off. So, so my TM, my TM was very, 
un uneventful. I got a pin missile, which Ooh, I'm I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad it's that because I found out the TM can't be taught by anybody. So if I would have gotten a hyper beam TM, I would have been very 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 that sad. That would be very upsetting. I'm but, almost more upset though because pin missile is the move that killed Charlotte. So. <laughs> yeah, very harsh reminder. What are you trying to What are you trying to say? <laughs> I know. I well, I just wanted to keep it in the memory somehow. You know, I guess it's, I guess it's the worst so, way yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah, like, because, a like, likely story. We'll keep the memory of Smoochum with us by teaching the move that killed it on one of my Pokemon. <laughs> Not the best yeah. way to do it. Just but. a little. It's it's it, it's similar to like when you have the urn of ashes on your on your mantle. It's a little <laughs> reminder. A little yeah. morbid, but it's just a little reminder. And me getting the pin missile is like me kicking the urn over by accident. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's actually more you? what it feels like. <laughs> Um, it's okay, put him in the vacuum cleaner and we'll just keep him there. <laughs> the vacuum cleaner's the new urn, it's okay. <laughs> Not a problem. Um, Good old I Dyson. did. Um, here's the thing though, is that we still haven't figured out like the consistency of like TMs and who can learn them and who can't. Cause you know, I've already seen some Pokemon that can learn some pretty outlandish moves. And at yeah. first, at first we thought it was because, you know, you switch the TM with the new move but it's acting as if the old move can still be taught to that Pokemon, if that makes sense. But then yeah. but then there are a couple of instances where that didn't work. Like, for example, you got the Bubble Beam TM from uh, uh, Misty, which in fact is something else, but you had Gyarados. Um, and he couldn't the, learn it. And Unless he Gyarados learn just it. doesn't learn Bubble Beam, which seems strange. Exactly, and it should be able to. That, that would be really, yeah. really weird, but. That's what, um, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, so I, I'm over in Route 9 now. It looks I'm like doing the same thing, and I'm fighting a disgusting looking Mian Xiao. They did this Pokemon <laughs> very dirty in How this realm. Do my favorite fighting Pokemon dirty like that. He looks like you ever have, uh, you ever, you ever have silly putty as a kid? That stuff that you would like <laughs> put on the newspaper and it would like <laughs> absorb oh. it, and you could see the other side of the, like, it would like replicate the print from the newspaper? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's... it looks like that. Oh, basically. God. Goodness, goodness, a, a goodness. A sad amalgamation of that. Now, these Pokemon are like level 18, so I'm not having too bad a time, thankfully. Mm. Lieutenant Surge was uh, a little bit more difficult, so mm. thankfully yep. we should be, you know, smooth sailing for at least the foreseeable future. Yeah, I got, uh, I'm getting Sid a little bit of training here. I'm actually keeping him in by himself, see how he holds up. But now I'm facing a sock, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeet right out Yum of there. out! See you later! <laughs> Peace! But I'm giving I... Bottles a little bit of training as well. Mm, there you go. Gets a spew, but I think he can do it. Sock, don't you dare stare at me. Catch, catch this people. Faux days. Have oh. a nap. So what have you been up to? We haven't recorded in a, in a in pretty <laughs> decent time now. What, what's, how has your life been, Tree? What's been going oh, on in the world? It's, it's hotter. It's been tremendous. I, it was hard coming back to uh, sit down and record this again, knowing full well what happened in the last episode. Yeah, it, like I needed a couple days to, to, to grieve. Our, our apartment complex actually just opened their pool for mm. summer. So nice. I've been doing that for two days straight and basically look like a raisin right now. <laughs> Thankfully, you can't see my hands, but they're basically raisins on sticks, so. See, I'm basically just, I got bumps all over me right now because uh, I made the brilliant decision. We were out at a friend's house uh, and the weather started getting a lot better, but still kind of musty. Mosquitoes were just everywhere. And oh, I am- Don't do those. I am a mosquito magnet. Like mm -hmm. I I had a line of Skin just three like of them. honey, like my grandma would say. <laughs> <laughs> like she's not yeah. from the south. That's just the accent I gave her for whatever reason. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that's like the one thing that you always hear anybody say. If mosquitoes are around you, like, oh, you must taste sweet or you something taste along sweet the lines. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Must, maybe that's a Midwest thing. I have no idea. <laughs> and I'm just like, shut up! These things are sucking the life out of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, what is with all the fighting Pokemon? I want to fight with Sid, but I can't. Mm -hmm. I gotta do the switch training, Garbo. Oh, low kick. Come on, stop it. Stop it now. Stop is it with your nonsense. Sid What's the name of the shark from... No, that's Bruce. I was trying to think of the name of the shark from uh, Finding Nemo. I don't know why Sid popped in. Sid is the name <laughs> of the gecko thing in Monsters, Inc., correct? Uh, I think so. Okay, so I'm not I... completely off. Well, there... see, I, I don't know, though. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. I haven't uh, seen either. Ooh. I actually, I was thinking the other day, I just saw Detective Pikachu finally in mm -hmm. theaters. Mm -hmm. And I was think I was trying to remember like the first like because the movie's like it's a little kiddish you know mm -hmm. I'd, I'd say it's definitely marketed more towards kids mm -hmm. and uh, I was trying to think of the last like kids kids movie I went to a theater and saw and not mm -hmm. and just like watch on Netflix or something right I think it was Monsters University in like 2013 so it's it had <laughs> been a while for me I wasn't right. used to 
walking into a movie theater and having like three people in the whole theater. <laughs> I think the last like big movies I've seen have been like Star Wars and Avengers and so packed right. houses, you know. Yeah, I think the last like the last kids movie I've seen was Toy Story. I think it's yeah. I thought, oh, that's, that's a, in theaters. That's a that, long time. Man, that's a freaking tearjerker too. Man, that's such a great movie. I never, so I, I've never seen the end oh. of that movie, which which obsessed me extremely. Mm. So what happened was, it, uh, I think that movie came out when I was still in high school, mm. and they had these things called uh, I don't remember what they call them. Ba basically, like if you didn't miss a certain number of days, it was kind of a weird system. But mm. if you hadn't missed a certain number of days in my high school, you didn't have to take finals. Which really? Was, yeah, I think it was like if you, your grade had to be above a certain point. It was basically like if you have an A in the class, this final can only hurt you, so you don't have to take it because that would be really sad if it hurt you. <laughs> um, but anyway, on those days, basically all those kids that you know had a good enough attendance score and had high enough grades basically just got to go watch movies all day. <laughs> and nice. This was my like last day of high school ever, and they sat us in the auditorium to watch Toy Story three. <laughs> And the final bell rang as all of the toys were going down the conveyor belt towards the flames. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they just shut it off. No! They oh. just turned it off! You can't <laughs> end it there. That's, that's, a, that's you can't, literally like, I will stay. I don't care that the buses have a schedule. I didn't yeah. know how, I never, I never watched how it ended. I've never seen the end of Toy Story 3. It's like I will walk my happy booty cheeks home just to watch the end of this movie. I will walk five miles uphill both ways to get home if I have to. Yeah, no, they just turned it off on us, and I was like, "Excuse me." Yeah, it's like, no, this is this is out, this is an outrage. Um, God, what, completely. Oh, you were talking about school and like how I say that's that's pretty awesome. Um, we, I mean, we got to like cut out classes from our uh, curriculum as like we went along. We had enough credits, so I actually cut off. Like we had four blocks in our school day. So I was able to cut off the first block and I was able to cut off the fourth block. Which most people nice. would be like, why don't you just cut off blocks one and two and sleep in all semester? And I'm like, well, mm -hmm. I'm already kind of sleeping and taking off the first block. But if I take off the first and the fourth block, then I am missing all of that traffic <laughs> in the morning and at the end of the school day. And they're that's, like, that is smart. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah. Our, uh, I remember our, uh, what would you call it, like area to, to get to our school was like so small in mm. the, like the parking lot. Oh it was yeah, ridiculously small. Getting out of there was an absolute nightmare. That's a good. That's actually a pretty good move. Yeah, and I'm like, and I'm, I'm not an angry person or a fighter by any means, but man, I would just want to swing on people whenever oh. I had to go to school in the morning. Like, Put get out of my way. Same thing. Like, you would think, you, you know, maybe unless you've watched some of my Nuzlocks and you've seen some of my reactions when I lose a very nice Pokemon, but <laughs> I typically am a very calm, cool, and collected individual. Put oh, yeah. me in a car. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I the rage just it's it's like my maybe it's like my only avenue to express anger and then I just make sure I don't express it in any other way in my life. Mm. But when I'm in that car by myself, <laughs> some things get said. <laughs> when I'm in my car, don't give me wait, I already forgot the lyrics of the song I was trying to reference. I, <laughs> I, I had an offspring song stuck in my head, which I'm reaching far back for this one for probably any of our audience, but uh um, what's the name of it? Bad Habit by Offspring is like one of my favorite songs. Mm, I, I don't know that many songs. Oh, them, it's, unfortunately. It, I always listen to that song and it's just like, yeah, some of the rage that just builds inside you from the smallest things on the road. Oh no, I'm losing yeah. you. You're going robot? You still there? Oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Still here. Am I, I wasn't T-painting on you? Oh no, we've lost Totter. One second. Uh oh, uh -oh. what? I mean, you, are, are you still there? I'm still here. Yeah. Are you still there? <laughs> uh oh. No. Josh, come back! We have retrieved Totter from the Ethernet or Internet, whatever you want to call it. He's back. I am back. And I we was... will continue on our journey. It's like the technical <laughs> difficulties, but that's that's computers. You know, I was waiting for that to happen because it happens to me what it feels like so frequently, and we've been so lucky. <laughs> we have this... been very lucky. To, it, it's been even happened to us like right before or right after we record, but typically it's been nice to never happen in the middle. But it's okay. We're right. back. And I just uh, gave... where are you? By and I just way, like, I just gave Josh another editing headache because I had to reclick on the. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Well, it's okay. I will I will figure that out. Well, I hadn't clicked anything yet, so it should be all right. Okay. 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 There you go. I hope we're anyway. Good, there we go. Yep. We're back. We're back. We're live. We'll do it nice. live. <laughs> uh, where are you, by the way? Because I'm oh. looking at the Route Nine grass ready to I, go. I am actually about to. I think I got to. Yeah, I got to fight one more trainer, and then I okay. will be. Rocking and rolling for this next encounter, Perfect. which I, I may go try to find one more trainer as well. 
Yeah, it's uh, going to be your encounter as well, sir. Oh, it is? Okay, just, okay. Yep, just a heads up on that one. We're in the flippity flippity flop is my pen. There it is. <laughs> That's what I need. I was gonna say, you got your uh, you got your handy dandy notebook. I got my writing stick. <laughs> Let's see here. Do I dare was, not? Was Blue's Clues Blue's Clues might have was it a little before your time? Oh no, that was that was like right in almost in the heart. I was a little old, little old to watch it, but it's like you know if like you have like a sick day and yeah, there's yeah. nothing to watch on TV. Hop so on just, Nickelodeon. Yeah, and it's like we didn't really had the internet right at that point, or at least where I there lived, so there wasn't really much to do except stare at Nick Jr. and Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, huh, I wonder what plays oh, when I'm not around. I was gonna say, that that was like peak child, I think from like, probably like three to like six was like peak blues clues for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was let's, a good time. Let's that, was see my, that was my jam. I had a Steve shirt, that blue, the green uh, striped shirt, I had one of those. I nice. had a thinking chair. I had a notebook, a handy dandy notebook. Mm, I might have I don't a handy know where dandy any of those problem. Are now. I might have what, a handy what? dandy problem right now. Oh no! What Dragon Rage? I just have to be careful right now. I'm facing I'm facing a Hitmonchan right now. Oh, it's got Mach Punch too. Well, oh, here's the no. here's the problem. It it has counter right now. So what oh. I'm what I'm doing is I am leering its face. I'm actually I'm tail whipping it right now as far as I can. There you so go. This thing's That's got, the way to do it. It's got bullet punch, mock punch, agility, and wow, I want one of those. God, do I wanna? Do I really wanna? Is Asta gonna kill it? That's a big risk, man. That's a big <laughs> risk. Oh my god, I clicked it. It should be enough. I mean, it's minus six. I'm two levels higher. Kill this thing. Well, it just mock punched me, so I'll get a free attack anyway. It should die. Oh, perfect. Then there's no counter. Oh, it's a no co. It's over. It's over. Oh, we're we're good. We're good. Get out of my face. Okay, so no I no problem. I need to use a super potion real quick because right, okay. uh, Sparkster's hurting just a little bit. Cool. Okay, that's so you're at the you're about to get to this grass. Yep. I am. Cool, I'm, I'm actually. I think I'm a little impatient, so I might just jump in. No, go right ahead. I'm actually. I'm staring right at the spaghettios right now. Okay. I'm jumping into the spaghettios. Mm -hmm. Our route nine encounter on my side is going to be. Come on. <gasps> Dude, speak of the devil. No. Did you find another smoochum? No, but I got some silly putty on my screen. <laughs> you got a Mian Shao, I'm so jealous. I got a Mian Shao, man. I, I am super That's, jealous, but that, that could be a pair. That is a great Pokemon. It is a new fighting type, so I'm sorry, Metacham, but... Oh, I'm fine with that. I I don't want no stinky Metatite on my team anyway. No, I don't think you want a Sprint either, I'm No, guessing. I do not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially because it loses the fairy type. That makes it it's just a normal type in that case, so that's kind of sad. I also have two other Pokemon on my team that have lost their typing and became normal types, so I don't think I need a third one. Well, <laughs> uh, good news is uh, we got a pair here. We do have a pair here. The bad news is this thing is absolutely useless for probably a good portion of me having it. I got a, I got a Togepi. Oh no, is that primary fairy in this game? No, well, it's in, primary I'm, normal. It's actually it's just normal. normal to start. And it I think is, it goes. And then Toga Kiss becomes I, fairy? You know, I don't know if it goes. I gotta look this up real quick. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I got my data. I got my fancy, da fancy pantsy data dex app. Let me, let me check for you. Oh, Toga yeah. primary fairy. It is primary fairy. Okay, cool. Either it, way. It goes fairy to fairy flying with Togetic and Togekiss. Nice. Okay, so let me write that But that down. is basically an exact replacement of our previous pair. Yeah. So Well if I can if I can get Togepi leveled up and get it uh, get it evolved, then I'm gonna need a shiny star. I'd imagine shiny stones are put into this game probably. Maybe not. Maybe, or it might just evolve at a certain level, I'm not sure. But a Togekiss is actually a pretty decent Pokemon. Now, I'm a little nervous. This thing is starting to meditate on me. Mm. Um, oh, metronome? Oh, light screen. Okay, good. Yeah, this Togepi is throwing metronomes right now, and I'm afraid it's going to, like, explode or something like that. I mean, bubble shouldn't kill it. Dude, I, I feel like Mian is going to be a crit machine. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm Mian Shao. I'm throwing some super potions at this thing. I got one more bubble. Wait, not super potions. Great balls. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm going to start, start throwing some super no, potions No, take down. Thing. Please don't kill it. Okay, good. It just used a... Uh, Takedown, and I was like, "Don't you oh, dare whittle the it last." Might hurt, HP. It might hurt itself. Yeah, well, it hurt itself, but it didn't hurt me very much, so it didn't hurt itself That's hardly good. at all. That's good. Okay. I should, I should have this. I hope. Oh yeah, I it's am, caught. Okay, I am, uh, I'm slowly but surely throwing great balls in this thing. It is, it is not showing any indication that it really wants to stay in, but you know, we'll get there. Mm, mm, mm. So, uh, <laughs> 
Dude, <laughs> don't don't waterboard yourself over the togepi. It's it'll it'll be okay, my dude. It's gonna, it's gonna be a fine member. We of almost the lost. Team. We almost lost the pair of Jerk and Turner on this episode. Yeah. <laughs> that we need that pair the most. Oh, he's he's, med he's meditating quite a bit. I believe he's at plus three right now. Oh man, careful, sir, um, careful. Yeah, I'm gonna make. Sorry, is. Oh, I'm stupid. Why don't I? I should definitely. Yeah, hold on. I'm dumb. I'm gonna go out into Longclaw, who is Ghost type, and I doubt this thing has anything to hit him with. So there you go. We're just oh. gonna chill with Longclaw. Ooh, okay, okay. I'll say because I know that you're gonna be normal type, right? Longclaw. Yes, but st still Ghost though, so he can't hit me. With oh, fighting. duh, duh. I was thinking. I was thinking the opposite. I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking normal steel for some reason. I don't know why. Mm. I'm, I'm yeah, no, no, no. So I'm a ghost normal, thankfully. Ghost normal. Okay, yeah, because it's steel, dark, and fairy that aren't. Okay, okay, okay. Which I is broken. It. I can't be hidden by fighting or ghosts, so this thing is only weak to dark. Mm. Kind of uh, broke a Pokemon. I'm gonna uh, I'm, I, I will say I'm a little scared. Um, I have thrown about 10 Pokeballs at this. Great balls, I should say, at this thing. It is now, and I poisoned it. It is now below half, mm -hmm. and... Is still showing no signs of being caught. Oh man! So I, I am on a little bit of a timer here, which I I'm, I'm nervous about. I'm gonna try a Pokeball just because you know sometimes you throw ten great balls. Are you kidding me? Everybody yep, put down. Poke, very first Pokeball catches it. Nice. I was about to say <laughs> put put down B in the chat. Down B in the chat. Yeah yeah yeah. That, was that how, what, did you have a little mechanic you used to do back in the day that I, you thought well they like, guaranteed capture it i think and i'm pretty sure in gen one down b was a thing obviously i wouldn't use it here just to avoid you know being cheater cheater pumpkin eaters but yeah. i'm pretty sure in gen one um yeah if you like repeatedly press down b when you throw a pokeball like your chances increase i'm pretty I sure i did not thing. know that uh, maybe it is, i'm almost certain it was and i feel silly if it's not but chat go ahead and let me know if i'm yeah, just being a silly i used billy. to i i had like a method back in the day that didn't actually work but in my you know seven-year-old brain it did mm -hmm. uh which was as the pokeball was traveling through the air i would mash a as fast as i can and then when the pokeball opened up i would hold a and oh then, nice that was convinced me as a child. That's gonna <laughs> guaranteed catch every time, or at least a higher odds. But see, I now like, feel like somebody's gonna say that it wasn't. I'm just gonna feel like everybody else that thought the truck by the SSN would give you a Mew, and I'm gonna be oh, that guy yeah. now. <laughs> it's like, no, I hope I'm right. Dang it. Um, I'm on my way back to the Poké Center with our new pair, and I'm gonna heal up. That's very exciting. Um, yeah. So I was gonna name this thing since it looks like Silly Putty. I was gonna look up the company that made Silly Putty. <laughs> Did you know that Silly Putty was invented by Crayola? Was it really? Yeah. Interesting. Crayola. That's amazing. I, I like that. One nice. I guess, I guess we'll go with Crayola. No, that's. I think of them for crayons, but apparently they made my boy Silly Putty too. I'm still a Final Fantasy VII fanboy, and I named my Togepi Eris in the hopes that it will become a Togekiss. That's one of the, mm. the one of the main characters in the game that uh, is killed. Spoilers. <gasps> Twenty-two year old game. I'm I was sorry. Gonna, I was gonna say, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-two. If you don't, if if you haven't played it by now, I don't feel bad. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. I'm gonna check but, out this uh, beautiful Crayola here. Let me check at this. Look at this move set. Okay, pure fighting type with pound and meditate. We're gonna need to work on that. I yeah. I've only got a uh, growl and uh, metronome. As much fun as metronome is to use, yeah, I clear the explosion. <laughs> no, I do I not. Like to avoid any explosions. I yeah. Think. So I think I'm actually just gonna start switch training with homeboy here, and hopefully. I'm I'm gonna do the same. Okay, Man, this, uh, this is, uh, as usual, I got a little overexcited with how much we can get done in this episode. I was like, we might even make it to Lavender Town by the end of this episode. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be lucky to make it to Rock Tunnel, I think. <laughs> yeah, right. Honestly, yeah, say, looking at it now, maybe we just go after our, uh, our two encounters and probably end at, uh, Rock Tunnel, you think? I think, probably. I think so. That's yeah. probably the, probably the best course of action, I would think. So I'm gonna go head towards Route 10. I think we have a couple more trainers we're probably gonna need to fight before we get there. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm doing right now. I'm up against a Magmar. Mr. Ooh, Butthead himself. I went to go, I went to go heal. Oh, so. crap. Oh, God. Smokescreen? No, stupid fire spin. We're just gonna sit here and oh, wait. Oh, fun! But, you can never, can never leave. Yeah, it hit, uh, it hit Dragalge though. So he's, he's oh. eating it. He's eating that's it. Pretty, that's He's, good. Yeah, but if he uses an, okay, he outspeeds me, and that's the thing. I got, uh, I got to see mm. how hard I can hit it with a bubble, and that's probably, a scary. probably not much though. Oh, it's a two shot. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, he embered me. I got him. I got him. Easy peasy. 
On the road, Mianxiao's back sprite is absolutely beautiful. Why does its front sprite look the way that it does? <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to see the edited product because I really want to see it, what it looks like. It, it, the back sprite, I'm telling you, is majestic, just like the actual Pokemon. Mm -hmm. The front sprite is something, you know, that Satan himself <laughs> put on this planet. It's oh, horrifying. I just got to look at Simus here for the first time and holy bananas. And speaking of, he even, forget his sprite, he just in general looks like <laughs> <laughs> the spawn of Satan. Yeah, Simisir looks like the bedhead version of its original <laughs> sprite. Its tail is just all over the place, and it's got this Naruto looking hair right now. It's it's redonk. <laughs> I'm excited to, to see. I've, I've been editing these videos makes me very excited to see some of the Pokemon <laughs> you're running into because we do have a, a decent difference in Pokemon. Oh yeah, between absolutely. our two games, which has been really fun to see. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed what, checking out the last episode. Just I, I think that is pretty exciting. Is like seeing like people's reactions to like, you know, now that we've finally lost Pokemon and like what, what yeah, went down. Yeah, we're not like, invincible. It's, it's, uh, you feel like it. you are until you lose those Mons and then <laughs> Oh my god! Noctowl, why? Why is are he, you? Is he rough too? He is terrible. Oh my <laughs> god. He looks like he's covering himself with a <gasps> Why do you have Tackle? Oh, thank goodness, it's a magic card. Okay, I'm Ooh, stupid. I got easy. really nervous. So, so I sent in uh, Mian Xiao level 14 against the level 20 Magikarp, thinking it would know nothing, but it knows Tackle. <laughs> but it is just a Magikarp, so we are living. You're fine. Yeah, we got no worries. <laughs> oh, cue ball. Why do you do the things that you do? <laughs> Gorbis. Is that the one with the weird crotch thing on that he's wearing? Yeah, playing? he wears his oh, under, he wears his g-string on the outside of his. Yeah, <laughs> those those good old underoos. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my goodness, family friendly. Why am I bringing up <laughs> articles of clothing underneath your? Yeah. Yeah, just uh, some so undie pants. Yeah, that's all it is. Your underwear is perfectly natural. No, no matter what what variation everybody it comes poops in. And everybody wears. Well, them. yeah. Well, maybe that's actually the second one. It's probably not true, actually. <laughs> Yeah, what there, I think about it. There, there's some, uh, somebody used to call me, you know, somebody used to call me Rando Commando, and I was like, wait, that's not true, stop it. You a free baller? <laughs> See, I think that's what they were <laughs> insinuating, and I was like, how would you even know that? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's I can't not, say. And they're like, that's not the connection I'm making at all, and I'm like, oh, uh, well, what, why was I saying the thing, well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, uh, what was, what yeah, was I no, saying again? I, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I get to see a Luxray. I had a Deoxys on my screen and I was frightened Dude. for a second, but I'm fine. I have seen the first really cool Gen 1 sprite. Luxray looks freaking bamf, dude. He looks great. Well, he, I have one in my box. He looks amazing. I would love to add him to the party. Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you got a Luxio right now, don't you? Hey, oh, Luxio, why, yes. Why am I T-bolting this thing? Am I stupid? <laughs> what am I doing? We'll get him eventually! <laughs> yes. Well, it actually would have been a two-shot because Sparkster is just absolutely OP right now. <laughs> oh, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. I have things to do. I have places to be. I don't have time Bottles to deal with. Bottles is getting some good experience. I like him. I, his, his back sprite is strange. It looks like he's like diving into a pool from the left side of my screen. Why does this guy have such powerful Pokemon? Come on, man. Let me just go straight into case at this point. Cryogonal, I don't really want to mess around with a Cryogonal. <laughs> Dude, what does Cryogonal look like? It has to look awful. It's, I mean, it looks pretty much like it normally does, which mm -hmm. is, which in my opinion is not great. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a mess. Oh, despite for alligator's rage, he's going to be a rat in a cage right now. Why it is looks a little thing? bit like a second grader snowflake that he designed in like in his in his class for <laughs> in arts and crafts. All right, I gotta I gotta hurry up and take care of this for alligator because now I'm attacking it while it's using rage. Oh, never mind, I got a crit. It's dead. I didn't want to build up its rage too much, and then actually. Oh, I'm fighting Sabrina right now, by the way. So I'm about to get my sixth gym badge. <gasps> oh, Chris is going to become even more powerful. Holy bananas. Will we night slash? I got, well, I got slash, which Ooh. that's, that stab. With that's its stab, speed and the fact that it crits basically every time. Yeah. That Pokemon should never die. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> well, it's, it's like the ultimate glass cannon. Like if, if it, I, I feel like I should never lose Meganium because it's so tanky. If I end up losing that pair for us, I, I'm going to send you $100 in the back. I'm just, I'm just letting <laughs> know you know that, that right now. That's probably that. the only way I'll ever forgive myself. I would be so sad. Mm. Oh man. I man. have arrived at route 10 BT dubs. So I am I am almost there. I gotta fight a Porygon 2. Level Ooh. 23! Holy cow. I love the Porygon line personally. Yeah, I mean, 
Porygon Z. I thought Porygon Z was pretty cool. Porygon Z is very cool. Yeah. I think I'm just, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to body this thing. I'm going to bring out the newly, newly learned Slash. Uh, for, whoa, Zap Cannon? Take it easy. Take it easy, pal. <laughs> have, he'll have ne he'll never land one. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah, I know. So it's like got negative 50% hit chance. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Dude, Eris is gaining some levels quick. Already up to 16. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. I. Another Sabrina. What's happening? I, oh, no. I have an Arceus on my screen. Do you really? Wow. I do. Wow. At least you know you can catch one. There's always a chance. They, that means there is an Arceus out there. And that's, <laughs> and that's exciting. Oh, he's got Seismic Toss. Fun. This should be scary. He's yeah. only 20, though, so mm -hmm. I'm not at terrified. With, at least something with scaling damage you can, you know, kind of play in your moves. Correct. So I can, as long as he doesn't break out something ridiculous against me. Wow, you're strong. <laughs> wow. Well, he, it's, it's Arceus. Wait, what in the world? He is very strong. Luckily, I hit five times. I'm going to switch into Saria and hit you with a Razor Reef. <laughs> Saria is only showing me Seismic Toss, so I should be fine. Um... Yeah, just just a heads up. This is something I could always say off a of camera, but for some reason my game keeps clicking off, so the audio is gonna be all over. Oh, the place. don't! I'm, I'm, I I'm will, sorry. I will. I will. If you got a problem, yo, know, I'll solve it. Check out this video <laughs> when wow. my editing sure. skills resolve it. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Hashtag Look at bars. Yay! Yeah, that's how Dude, we do it. I, I was vibing. <laughs> <laughs> I was straight up vibing. I um. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm running around uh, outside of Route 10, so I am also, also cool. ready to I am, go. I am finishing up the battle in front of uh, that lovely cave right now, uh, mm. in front of Rock Tunnel. So I'm finishing up. The oh, okay. Trainer there, and I will be there soon. This Krigatoon's biting, so I am uh, biding my time before I attack it. <laughs> oh, nice. So many dabs, so many dabs. I messed my hair oh, up. That's man. a real dab. That's that's that's. that's if how your you hair do it. is still in place post dab, you didn't do it right. You didn't do it right. You need to go back to the dab drawing board. Sir. Right. Okay, I'm ready to go. So if you're okay. ready to hop into that grass, yeah. So it's me this time. Ours. It is you this time, and we could potentially one episode after tragedy, <laughs> we have the opportunity here to fill everything back out just right the way it was. No, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Where's the Arceus? Come you're on. Gonna get a, you're getting a fire type. I'm calling it. God, well, I'm doing a lot of running. Around. Okay, here we go. We finally got one. What do we got? Well, th this ain't bad. This certainly isn't bad. I what think it's got? ugly as all heck, but I got a wall. <laughs> I got a wall rain. Hey, is that that's primary ice? That's a new. Um, it is primary that, ice, isn't it? That's a potential new pair. <laughs> if we fill up the team again in one in one Wall episode. Rain is primary ice. Primary hey, ice. Look at that. Okay, so of the types we have left that I could get, I'm looking for normal types, fire types. Who else are we missing? Uh, rock type. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't. There's we a couple more out now, there. I think. I still have ground for, um, what's his Tornadus name? Tornadus type? <laughs> flying, yeah, Tornadus, Tornadus is the only type. flying type. <laughs> so there's a, there's a couple out there. Let's see if we can finish this off. I'm calling it. I'm getting a Torchic. I'm getting a Torchic right here. This pair is going to be wonderful. Third gen power. Let's go. Do it. Round 10 encounter is going to be, uh, this is dupes, thankfully. We will not be catching another Cottony. There you go. I, I did catch that in Diglett's Tunnel, correct? Um. Yeah, because I named him Collywobble. Okay, yeah. we're good, we're yeah, good, yeah, we're yeah. good. Yeah, no so I was about cotton is allowed. Something new for us, please. A different a different type we have yet. Oh, dragon, it could be a dragon type. Yeah, that's, that's a new type we don't have. Yeah, because uh, poison go. type for uh, um, Dragalgy is poison type, right? Yeah. I think, I think I'm gonna have this in my possession. <laughs> oh, did you already encounter something? Yeah, it's uh, a new pair. It is? I don't want it. Ah, <laughs> uh, what'd you, so we, we fill out the team, Char though? Charlotte's ugly little brother just showed up. You got a Mr. Mime? Ew. I got, I got a, I got a Mime Junior. Ew, no, <laughs> gross. You have, you have my permission to body it. No, I'm gonna catch this <laughs> so I never have to catch another one again. This wall rain is being <laughs> a problem right now. But at least doesn't Mr. Mime eventually become Psychic Fairy? Um. I think so, actually. Now that so you so, I guess it. at the very least, that's a thing. I'm trying oh, he's to meditate too. Oh, oh my God! I almost killed this thing. I oh. cannot believe. 
Okay, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta heal up. I'm getting really, really close to uh, losing to Sid. <laughs> well, because this thing just broke out crunch out of nowhere. And oh, I was already, man. Yeah, and I was already down to like halfway because it was just slinging water guns at me. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, here's my trump card that I just activated. <laughs> like, calm well, down. I am not excited about this Pokemon. Well, I can't even freaking catch this thing. Like, this thing is breaking out of everything, and I have it down to literally one HP right now. And I've already I... used five Great Balls. I think I'm gonna be able to catch it. It's just gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna have to, his only move is Double Slap. So he has Double Slap, Meditate, Mimic, and Barrier, so. This thing is being a nuisance right now. <laughs> An absolute nuisance. And I, I can't have... believe we filled up the team again so There fast. we go. It's magical. It is. I just caught my wall rain finally. It broke out of like seven Pokeballs. Like, well, great <laughs> balls actually. With one jiggle. It was like a one, it was a one jiggle. I'm trying to think of a term that rhymes with it. I'm trying to make it sound cool. But I can't. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it wiggles once and then just is like, I'm done with this. It's like this yep. thing's weak. But I got it anyway, so. Oh. I don't even know my, what to name this. My Mime Jr. also just did the single wiggle. <laughs> the single wiggle break free. I know, the work and title. He's doing it too. Work and title, we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Let's go, Mime Jr. Mime Jr., I didn't mean to say mean things about you, but could you just be caught for me because <laughs> it's like we have very important things to do, uh, namely ending this episode. So could you just be captured? Thank you, Mime Jr. You're the <laughs> There best. it is. There it is. Did you get it? I have captured the Mime Jr. Excellent. So now comes the daunting task of trying to name a super... I, Dude, I think Walrains are just ugly in general, man. I do not like yeah, them. Yeah, if he is Charlotte's ugly little brother, what, what's a, what's the male version of Charlotte? I'm calling this Clark? thing Jabba. This thing is Jabba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Clark. I think Clark. that's the closest to Charlotte. I, it, it shares a lot of similar letters. So mm -hmm. you know what? Clark go. the Mr. Mime. Oh, mm. sorry, the Mime Jr. Welcome to the team. How are and you that... doing today, Clark? Psychic Normal. Okay, so it is part fairy. Nice. Psychic Normal with Barrier, Meditate, Double Slap, and Mimic. Yeah, you're... Yeah, you're... I don't know so much about you, Clark. I don't know how this relationship's gonna work out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean... I, it's a, it's a full team, like we said. It it's, is a full team. Not, you know what? Not That's, a bad thing. If it, it, we're, you know what? We we bounce back from that extremely quickly. Abs absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up real quick. And how many? There's probably a couple of trainers down there, aren't they? There's one. There's only one. Oh, okay, good. I was gonna say I can hurry up and wipe them out, and we can get the rock tunnel encounter, and we can uh, wrap it up, huh? I'm down. We're at like 40 minutes right now. So if you're down for just wrapping it up right here. Um, yeah, we, we could, we could, uh, actually, yeah, we could. That's not a bad idea. Um, we can, uh, oh, hang out here. Why did I look? Why uh, did I look? What did you do? Why did I look? What? What did you do? I went back to Route 10 and said, I wonder what I could have gotten instead of a dumb Mr. Mime Jr. <laughs> How about a Rayquaza? No way. Yeah, right on my screen. Oh, See you later. that would have been a pair too. That would have been a bear, and that would have been a bear I would have used so no. quick. Man, that's brutal. I, I, see, I've it's learned from you now. I'm never gonna go back and re-encounter just to look. I'm just gonna be it like, you know only, what? It only can hurt you. It can only break your heart. <laughs> truly, truly. But, <laughs> well, at least still. Again, I, I'm trying to look at a glass half full. Full team, super exciting. Full team but, is good. I, I am happy to have it. Yeah, for sure. But man, there, there's a lot we can do in the next episode. They'll have at least, it, it is. at least probably three or four encounters, if anything. We actually get to start the next episode with one. So, mm -hmm. yo. That's, that's pretty exciting. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy and you're excited about us having a full team again, make sure to like, subscribe, all of those things. Comment down below. And also make sure to go check out Todd's channel. Link to his channel will be in the description below. The next episode of this, uh, of course, we switch back and forth. So the next episode will be up on his channel on Thursday? Uh, yes. Yep, Thursday. Thursday will be the yes, next sir. episode of this, so go check that out then. For, uh, like he said, several encounters, a little bit of Lavender Town action, and probably some more fun trainers. So, yep. do you have anything else to add, Todd? I'm all good to go, man. All right, then with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on Thursday. See you later.